What about you, Sydney? How do you deal with uh, I try to make sure that I take lunch at a certain time, about one o'clock. And I try That's to my exercise. <laughs> That's right. Well, really, because, you know, the, it sort of builds up, you know, all morning. And if you don't have, like, something, you know, at least a moment where you know you can stop for a while. Um, and so to try to take a walk in the afternoon. And then if it's like a pilot and you're working like, I work like 30 or 33 days straight, and they want you to work into the evening, make sure that dinner gets organized. Because often I'm the only person thinking about it. And if you don't watch it, it's like 6 o'clock and 6.30, and nobody, even the post producer, hasn't even thought about getting dinner. And it's like, okay, we'll order it now, but that means it won't get here till eight. And uh, so I try, that's what I try to do. But pilots are definitely, especially network pilots, when there is a, it has to be done by like May for the upfronts. And uh, you look at those schedules in the beginning and every day is scheduled, literally every day, every Saturday and Sunday. And it's like the second Sunday or third Sunday, you're walking onto the lot and you're thinking, Oh my God, I'm, I'm here again. <laughs> and that, uh, those pilots, when you never get a day off, get pretty, you get pretty ragged. And uh, it gets harder and harder to deal with, uh, you know, all, all the, uh, the pressure. But you just have to kind of find it in yourself and realize that basically none of it matters. You're there to help these people do whatever they want to do. And, uh, and you try to do it as calmly as you can. And, and show them what they want and contribute to it. 